Hey guys, so we're here to kind of wrap up December's budget, end of the month. So we're going to go over it. Uh, my tripod is MIA right now, so I'm holding this by hand. So sorry about that, you guys. Um, and you notice, you know, some of these numbers aren't going to add up. It's because the third paycheck in December, if you follow my um, stuff, it's not extra money. It's actually being rolled over to January's budget. So I was over $45 um, as far as that income budgeted. What I actually spent, I spent $402 less than I budgeted for because things were a little tight and I didn't have as much for spending and fun and my sinking funds. So as you see, huge difference there and where I didn't have a difference. Don't have anything saved. Now, my sinking funds. This is what I was able to add to it this month. We were able to add 372. We spent 50 out of the Christmas sinking fund, which left starting balance for January at $642. Um, this one, the beginning balance of my debt, how much actually went to debt. This is not how much I actually paid this month. Um, I showed right here, this is the amount that actually was paid towards the bill. This is how much went towards interest. Okay, and then this is what my credit cards ended at for the month of December. Um, transactions, you'll see a lot. There was a lot of unbudgeted this month because there's a lot of things that happened that I didn't know what category I would consider them. And so it was considered unbudgeted. I know for next time, a lot of these will get budgeted under spending or fun. Um, and then you'll also see a lot of Plus and minuses, the pluses are the, the money that I received this month. And I received a lot of extra money this month because of returns that I had to do for items that were broken or arrived broken and things of, of that nature. And then, of course, our weekly check-ins. I don't do weekly check-in videos because I only post one budget video a week on my channel. I don't, my, my channel's not completely dedicated to my budget, so it's not, you know, something that I just, I focus completely on. Um, spending was this much, but this is how much was um, unbudgeted in returns and, you know, being the holiday season. So you just subs subtract this from that and you'll get what I actually spent for the month. Then of course, if you watch my paycheck videos, you'll see everything's checked off. Paycheck videos. And then this paycheck, it, it I was I received this paycheck in December. It's not actually getting spent in December. So you see nothing is checked off, nothing is done yet. I have my notations. And that's the problem with having a check that comes in like the last day of the month and you have all of these bills and it's, you're using it for the next month. So I have to leave note for myself on what days the bills will actually pull from so I know. So I don't go, why is there so much money sitting in my account? Oh yes, this is why. The only thing that has been taken care of is I've moved this into my mortgage checking so that my mortgage can get paid. And then if you, know, you watched my paycheck video, which is this one gonna come out? I think this, yeah, no, this one already came out. You'll know, that's all good to go. So I know this was a super short, quick video. Um, I did all my totals off camera, just because you'll see when you watch my January paycheck, I screwed up royally, and so I wanted to make sure that I had it all taken care of. It's 30th, 2019, it's the new year, it's January. Um, I hope if you make resolutions that you're able to fulfill your resolutions this year. Um, I chose not really to do resolutions. I have goals and one of my goals is by the end of 2020 is that one and a half credit cards are paid off, which will leave me one and a half for 2021 to pay off. And that I live a financially better life. So y'all hustle your heart out and welcome to 2020.